And so uh, he gives uh, many, many examples in this chapter, and it, it's really good because it, it, it uh, shows uh, conversations that he's actually had with people um, mm-hmm. or that we've, we've seen um, in, in our kind of uh, uh, normal Christian walk. And um, uh, this one's called, uh, Can God Make a Rock So Big He Can't Lift It? Yeah. Or if you're a Simpsons fan, can God make a burrito so hot that he himself could not eat it? It's, it's the Bart Simpson one. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this challenge is called a pseudo question. Well, why? Well, it's like asking if God can beat himself up, who would win? And so w- w- what, what's the contradiction here? Well, it's a nonsense question because it treats God it treats God as if he were two instead of one. All right. So, you know, what, what, is, what does it mean to... That he can make him, uh, can he himself make a rock so big that he can't lift it? Right. So you're competing God against God here. Okay. Well, the question proves nothing about the deficiency in God because the question it's uh, because the question itself can God's omnipotence defeat His omnipotence? It's incoherent. Right. And so we can talk about you know uh, God can't do anything that's contradictory to His own self, and so we can talk about um, uh, the uh, Zeno's paradox, right? Uh, well, that's the one that's the moving one half of if you go oh. half the you right that's yeah. the uh, so not Zeno's paradox <laughs> it's uh it's um uh you know can 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 does god pull pull anything out from the ether uh, can he go against his own moral claims and so he talks about uh, the claims from from his from his own from his own being can mm-hmm. god cannot lie and so uh it, it, would it ever be moral for god to lie well you're talking about competing god against god and so we wouldn't want to do that Mm-hmm. Um, God doesn't take sides. So he talks about here uh, a, a, a Los Angeles Times uh, kind of uh, full page ad being put here. And it says, uh, you think God is on your side, but you're wrong. God doesn't take sides. So he asked, well, OK, let me ask you a question. If this disagreement we're having on whether God takes sides, uh, what do you think God's opinion is? Well, I just told you God doesn't isn't taking sides. He's against it. Right. So in our dispute, I'm saying God does take sides. You're saying God doesn't take sides. So in our dispute, God would agree with you, right? And not me. That's right. <laughs> okay. He would side with you on this issue then. I guess God does take sides after all. So again, can, can God ever say anything then? That's that's the question. And again, it's treating God as kind of these this dual aspect to, uh, to himself that that uh, you're com- you're competing God against God. Yeah, really what you're saying is God takes sides and God doesn't take sides, right? right? Because you're saying that God has taken my side, but you're saying he doesn't take sides. So he's taken my side that he doesn't take sides, which means he does take sides, but you're claiming that he doesn't take sides. So now you're contradicting yourself, mm-hmm. right? So that's a self-refuting idea here, right? right?